Nearly three years ago today, John Boy posted this video to social media and the game of baseball would never be the same. Not only that, but Robert Manfred came out and called the World Series trophy a piece of metal, so he only made the situation worse. Multiple managers and soon-to-be managers ended up losing their livelihood because they either got fired or the job that they were going to have was taken away from them. And I know that Major League Baseball blamed the pandemic for them banning technology and dugouts for a season or two, but let's face it, we know that's because the Astros had their little debacle. And before we break it down, I wanna show this graphic right here. I put out a poll on Twitter asking the baseball community to let me know their opinion on the Astros. 25% of baseball fans out there believe that the Astros are always going to be cheaters and they can't do anything to redeem their image. Whereas the majority, they're either in the camp that yes, the Astros they've done enough, they've earned back my respect, or simply both can be true. I think the Astros will always be known as cheaters, they've ruined their reputation, but I can respect how elite their organization is at developing and acquiring talent. So let me know in the comments, which camp do you fall in? Now me, I'm not gonna be making any more trash can jokes or buzzer jokes. I don't even think the buzzer thing actually happened now that I'm looking back on it. So how did they redeem themselves? Let's break it down. October 19th, 2019, Jose Altuve shocked the world by hitting a walk-off home run against Chapman and the Yankees, and he was immediately accused of wearing a buzzer because he did not take off his jersey. A lot of players were suspicious, basically saying, hey, you sent your team to the World Series. If that was me, you could rip all of my clothes off. Players were saying it's weird that Altuve was using his wife as an excuse, but looking back on it, the only reason why these rumors came out is because of a fake catfish Twitter account. They were pretending to be Carlos Beltran's niece. They were saying that Bregman and Altuve were wearing buzzers or something like that. That account was completely fake. They were not a Beltran at all. But then to make matters worse, the Houston Astros ended up losing in seven games to the Nationals. So the haters were using it as fuel to basically say, hey, the Houston Astros, they can't win without buzzers. And at this point, the trash can situation wasn't even news yet. Three weeks later, yes, the game of baseball changed forever as John Boy's video came out. And like I mentioned, all hell broke loose, not only on social media, but in real life as well. Moving on to February of 2020, this is where Robert Manfred and the Astros organization had to address the baseball community. Robert Manfred didn't hand out any suspensions to players. He then called the World Series trophy a piece of metal after fans were saying that the 2017 trophy should be taken away. That he said, why would I do that? It's just a piece of metal. And baseball fans across America were not happy with the apologies from Astros players. I don't know if we were just so angry and upset in the moment that we couldn't see their apologies for what they were. You had Carlos Correa telling Cody Bellinger to STFU. If you can spell that out, you know exactly what I'm saying. He did this live on MLB Network. That happened. Now fast forward to the actual 2020 season. The Astros went seven games against the Tampa Bay Rays and they lost because Randy Arozarena became prime steroid version of Barry Bonds for a playoff series. And the Rays, they moved on to the World Series. So again, Fuel was added to the fire. The Astros can't win without cheating. Now they have the accusations of buzzers. They have the accusations, well not accusations, they have the evidence that they use trash cans and a camera in center field. Pretty much life as an Astros fan and Astros player, it can't get much worse. Oh yeah, you thought it couldn't get worse? In 2021, you lose your playoff hero, your postseason legend, your starting center fielder and leadoff hitter, George Springer. He signs with the Blue Jays. And in my opinion, the only reason why he left as he wanted to get away from the scrutiny. A lot of people, they loved Jose Altuve. They loved George Springer. And the fact that George was no longer a likable figure, I believe that's why he left. But 2021, the Astros started gaining steam again. They made it to another ALCS. They won the ALCS. They made it back to the World Series. And then they lost in six games to the Atlanta Braves. So if we do a full breakdown, they won the World Series in 2017 when they were essentially cheating their way there. And a lot of people were saying they were cheating in the World Series as well against the Dodgers. And that's why they won in 2017. But then other people would argue the Astros were still good enough to win without cheating. But we can't argue that because we don't know. But going into 2022, the Astros have lost every single World Series they've been to. They've lost George Springer. And now they lose another postseason legend and face of the franchise, Carlos Correa. They lose him to the Minnesota Twins. And to replace Carlos Correa, their former number one overall pick, they call up a 24, 25-year-old rookie, Jeremy Pena. There's no way he can fill in the shoes. 
right? Oh yeah, he did. We'll talk about Jeremy in just a moment, but other Astros players that had a great season, Jose Altuve, he hit 300 with almost 70 extra base hits and a career high 160 OPS plus. So obviously we're assuming he did that without buzzers, without trash cans, anything like that. Jose Altuve was the best second baseman in baseball if you're not including Andres Jimenez or Jeff McNeil. Alex Bregman had 61 extra base hits, a 133 OPS plus, and had an excellent ALDS and ALCS. Your Don Alvarez became a top three hitter in baseball. Justin Verlander returned from Tommy John, and he is going to win the Cy Young, at least that's my opinion. Framber Valdez and Christian Javier, they had their best seasons as big leaguers. Chaz McCormick was great in replacement of Michael Brantley, even though he was playing center field. The Astros, I mean, 106 wins? What more could you ask for? Remember how I just talked about Bregman having a great ALDS and ALCS? Well, sticking with those series, the Astros have not lost a single game in the 2022 playoffs. Their rookie shortstop, the guy that filled in the cleats left behind of Carlos Correa, yeah, Jamie Pena won the ALCS MVP. The bullpen for the Astros gave up two or three runs over the entire playoff stretch. I think they had a .82 ERA and 44 strikeouts in 33 innings. Dusty Baker is one of the more liked managers and figures in baseball. He is going for his first World Series W as a manager. The only narrative that can be spun in this 2022 World Series, where actually there's a couple if you're talking about the Phillies, but in regards to the Astros, they're either going to redeem themselves or the curse of the trash cans is going to be the story of the next decade, in my opinion. The Astros can't win a World Series unless they're cheating. They're going to blame the Astros for their cheating ways and that the baseball gods have a funny way of karma and that would be them losing every World Series that they've been to since they got caught cheating. And that's the way the baseball cookie crumbles. But in my opinion, I feel like the Astros have done nothing but good for the game of baseball, especially in 2022 with how good they've been at developing players, bringing back players, acquiring talent, calling up talent. I have just been having a lot of fun watching the Astros. And whenever you boo them, especially if you're a Yankees fan chanting, we want Houston, it seems like the Astros play even better. So you can't really hate on them anymore because it's just, they relish and marvel in the moment. They play better and better when the stakes get higher and higher. So with all that being said, I feel like the Astros have done a fantastic job at redeeming themselves. In my opinion, they have all but rehabilitated their image, even if they lose the World Series. Going to four World Series in six years, some could argue that's a dynasty. I would say it's not a dynasty unless they win. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Either way, if they're a dynasty or not, I will tip my cap to the 2022 Astros for essentially saving the organization. So thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and have a good day. You know, we're going to the World Series. Special team, special guys out there working hard every day to make this dream come true, to make this possible. And I'm just excited for the whole team, excited for our fans, supporting us every day, excited for everybody.